everyone, here is the storyline for the episode that I last night. In this episode, Hei Chang and Jung In intend to kill Baek Sola's father at any time. But because the relationship was known to Baek Sola's father, they decided to kill Sola's father that very night. Initially, Tae Chang was going to kill Sola's father, but he couldn't do it, and in the end, Jung In was the one who killed Sola's father. After Sola's father died, Sola went into her father's room and tried to ask for help by contacting anyone she could. But the telephone network in the house was cut off by Jung In and Tae Chang, so Sola couldn't contact anyone and could only cry after her father's death. While Sola was in her father's room, Tae Chang and Jung In went to Sola's father's clinic where Dr. Kwon was present. Tae Chang and Jung In asked Dr. Kwon to make a statement or death certificate for Sola's father, mentioning that Sola's father had a chronic illness and died suddenly of heart attack. Dr. Kwon didn't want to commit a crime like that at all because he knew Sola's father well. Jung In and Tae Chang promised to give the clinic to Dr. Kwon if he wanted to collaborate, but once again, Dr. Kwon refused until finally he had two other choices but to follow Jung In and Tae Chang's order because he was written with death since he already knew about the crimes committed by Jung In and Tae Chang. Fei Chang and Jung In gave two options to Dr. Won, either die or create a fake deed to take over the clinic as his own. With a heavy heart, Dr. Won followed Jung In and Tae Chang's orders and when he checked the condition of Sola's deceased father, he saw Sola hiding under her father's bed but kept quiet because he was worried that Sola would also be killed. After Sola's father's death, Sola did not speak at all and left her own house after hearing that Jung In intended to harm her. Sola went to an orphanage and upon arrival, she fainted due to exhaustion. Okay everyone, that's the storyline for this time. Thank you for watching my video.